Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. Last time we finally made it to a land, but sadly Guido left us before he could enter. Oh well, anyway, I uh, used this stashing place because Guido left us uh, things called Moge Teachings 1, 2, and 3, which basically was his weapon experience, but uh, since I accidentally only leveled up his sword, that was the only item that actually had any experience in it. So I used that on Rap and all the other items I just used on whoever I could use them on because they were worth absolutely nothing but they were still there but I still have Milda's mace uh, experience in there because uh, we still want to keep that anyway um, I'm equipped as such sword, she has a whip, he has a throwing weapon but uh, I'm probably overthinking it. It's just going to be a straight shoot to, uh, to Liete, right? Or not. Alright, who are we up against? It is the Hydra. Okay, so we should be good. Let's just uh, whip out a Neo Demon Ball on this biznitch. Because, yeah, he has the. Hydra has four heads in the body. So, uh, yeah, it's has a lot of moves. Okay, let's see. Um, wait, do you have... Oh, well, I do have the move End of the World, but unfortunately, I do not have 33 level 3 MP to use it. Darn. Yeah, that's a really good move, but it's a, uh, we can't use it. And that's only unlockable after the whole scene with uh, Fina getting her wings and stuff. So, anyway, let's do Fire Whip. Join the body and I'll get all of them. You'll never get away. All right, and of course you're going to use your heaven and earth cut. Try this, oh, you haven't seen Neo Demon Ball yet, have you? Well, here it is. Oh, baby. Yeah, definitely worth grinding up his weapon stats to get that one. Yeah, look at that damage. Prepare yourself. This is it. And having an earth cut. Already taken out one of the heads, and uh, looks like we're gonna take out everything else pretty soon. Another fire whip. You'll never get away. Definitely not a hard boss, I can tell you that much right now. Um, fireball on the body and you don't have another heaven and earth cut on you so let's use a dragon cut Gavlin, secret move dragon king fight well, this guy should be out of commission in no time <laughs> huh. I don't think I've, he's done what I didn't let that boss do a single move, did I? See that shot of mine? Yeah, I saw it. It was it was pretty sweet. And we get a lot of items, okay. Nice, look at that experience. Not bad. Okay, so of course there was a boss fight. Um anyway, I'm just gonna save well, I'm not even going to say, I'm just going to recover. Of course, it's probably unnecessary. Now, it's just a straight shot to uh, Leah to after we get some money. Alright. So, we want to... Uh, let's see, where do we go? Oh, there it is. This strange object here. And it just takes us a couple feet over there. <laughs> okay. So, let's go see Liette. Or not. Hey, is that the Ruin Guard? Actually, no. This is... Great Susano. Oh, Susano, that's, uh... I guess that's a Japanese mythology thing. If you watch Naruto Shipp Shippuden, then, uh... You'll be familiar with, uh, Susano. Something that Itachi uses and, uh... Let's see who else, um, Madara and, of course, Sasuke learned how to use it. 
So I'm guessing that's, yeah, definitely a Japanese mythology thing. Alright, so same thing as before. Let's see. Let's see, this time he has an iron ball instead of a mace, but other than that, it's just... Let's just attack the body, and it'll get everything else, too. Alright. And, of course, here's your Neo-Demon Ball. And, of course, Heaven and Earth Cut. Yeah, definitely. Love that I was able to get these moves. Try this, Howler! Luckily, we cancelled any move that it was about to do. Nice. And we've already destroyed both the weapons, so oh, jeez. So we could probably just use Zap Whip now that uh, only the body's left. Don't think you can get away. <laughs> and you know what? You just attack. Just kick the crap out of him. Yeah, once again, killed without letting it use any moves. That right. is the power of grinding wisely. Oh, I got so many eyes. Ooh, a nice new whip for Fina. Okay, you know what? Just to be safe, even though it's probably completely unnecessary, I'm going to go back to the uh, save point. I'm going to stash some items and heal up and come back here. So see you in a bit. Alright, and I just stored that whip I just got. Because guess what? It's still not as good as the one Fina already had on. So yeah. Even though it looked all shiny. Anyway, this time, yeah. We got into a couple of boss fights. But uh, things should be all good now. And where the heck do I go now? That is a very, very good question. I think we just go here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's... I might want to get that fixed. Oh, and somebody's... Ah. Somebody mentioned me on Facebook and my phone's telling me. What? Wait, wait, what? Seriously? Oh, fine. Yeah, this looks like the Volcano Dragon boss, but this is... The Phantom Dragon. And it's, uh, let's see. It's a dual enemy, but. I think, um, it's, it's both its parts have the same HP, so it doesn't matter which you attack. So I want to use my, uh, single attack, uh, things. Why not? Let's use it on the body. Let's see if I can go 3-for-3 three th three without having any... Without letting it do any moves. Zep Whip, let's do that on the head to uh, get that back a little bit. Back, I say. And of course, Demon Ball. Don't think you can get away. Ooh, whip, level up. Try this one! Okay, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Uh oh. Come on. Let's just have you use a critical on the head. We need to get that IP gauge down. Use another demon ball. Yes! Got through all three of them without them being able to attack once. See that shot of mine? <laughs> if I was really good up here, I would have let you see the attacks and So you could uh just in case you aren't just leveled up, but <laughs> I am not I just want to get through this. <laughs> Alright, so that yeah, that was it. There were three bosses and now we're done. So we are here in this chapel in the Lent. And look who it is!
Huh? Wait, what? What's with all these Lietes around? Did we fall into the Mako stream and have to reconnect memories now? Well, it is kind of like that in the fact that we have to talk to all of them. So, let's get started. And there's a save point right here, if you want to save. So, let's uh, start downstairs. Hmm. Why do they have tabletop dancers? I don't quite understand that, but okay. <laughs> oh. Aw, she must have been so lonely. Yeah, you talk to each one you talk to will disappear, so it makes it easy to know who you've talked talk to, spoken to, whatever you ha however you want to say it. So she sees everything. Oh, jeez, what? Hey. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a good one. I thought, man, I thought I was going to get some uh, Angelo action there, but no. But no. Hmm. I think that's all on the bottom floor. So let's go up the stairs. Hi. Aw. Hmm. So Gaia does stretch back from the time of Angelo. Let's see how many Leatis are left. Any over here? So, Ikarians weren't really a race of people, they were more like special people that always came in twins that were born from humans, so the Angelo civilization was actually a civilization of humans, not Ikarians. At least from what I can gather. Oh, I thought you were the living Liette, but no, the living Liette is above. 
there she is. Lieta herself, the one we've been after this whole game. We've finally made it to a Lent, and there she is. Hope she says something interesting. Answer all the questions. What I have inherited is my many old memories of Angelo. Together with those memories, I have also inherited the name of Liette. Liette? Long ago, in the ancient past, men could speak with spirits. This is a story from an age when humans were merely a small part of this world. The people of this time spoke of many things with the spirits. And the people also learned many, many things from the world. The light of the spirit stone, the symbol of the promise, continued to illuminate the world. The people gained sufficient power to travel, even to the faraway stars. But finally, the day came when men learned to steal. They stole riches from their own land and power from the skies. And last of all, they stole the spirit stones from the hands of the Icarian twins. They even tried to change the world with that light. Gaia greatly changed the appearance of the world. But people had forgotten that the light of the spirit stones reflects one's very own soul. The people who had forgotten the promise had already lost the blessings of the spirits. Halting the death of the world was already impossible. Just as the people could not halt their own desire.
Uh, if only more people shared that philosophy today. That was some pretty heavy stuff, and uh, I'm not going to ruin that by overly explaining it. Just uh, take it as it is, and if it confused you, just kind of look, you know, look it over again. Or if you have any questions, just ask me. But uh, yeah, guess what? Liette is our final party member. You didn't see that coming, did you? That is pretty awesome, I must say. Now, her stats aren't all that great, but we'll work on those. Now, remember how I was telling you to uh, save the mace uh, stuff from both uh, Sue and from Milda? Well, the reason for that is Leete can only equip a mace as her main weapon, and it's only at level 10 right now. She does have all her magic already, though, so that's pretty cool. It's at low levels, but that's something else we can work on. But yep, Liete is in our party. How awesome is that? Pretty dang awesome, I must say. Oh, and we're here now. This is probably going to be a longer episode because <laughs> I haven't been able to save yet. Too slow. I guess we'll find out. This will take us back to the ground? Yes. Climb aboard, and you will drop to the ground in a flash. Drop? This thing drops straight down? Of course. Straight down. Hang on there! If we drop from here... <laughs> Don't be so worried. When you hit the ground, you will stop quite nicely. Hit the... Let me down! Yes, yes. Down. Here we go! No, not not like, like that! Of course, we had to have a little bit of silliness in there somewhere. Oh, and more scenes with Bale. Finally getting some backbone, are ya?
That probably will not end well. <laughs> oh, we know this place. Well then, check this out. Alright, so let's, uh, I'm just going to follow the arrow, get us out of here. And now, we can head to the Luzet Mountains, and I can finally, well, I think there's a save point right at the beginning. There should be. Aha, here it is, and Luzet Mountains, this is the place I've been uh, alluding to for quite some time when it comes to grinding. But, oh man, a lot of stuff happened. Will we make it to the Spirit Chamber, I think that's what she called it, and will we be able to stop Bale and stop Gaia? Well, we'll just try to do so starting next time on Let's Play Grandia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.